welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome to my channel I am so excited that you are here today my name is Ivy and this is a totally different new kind of video for me today so um, I do a lot of lifestyle things and just show you my life and I thought you know what I want to show you some of the things that make my life easier uh, so I love watching like Amazon like faves and fails that's what this one's called like things that people buy that they love that they use in their home they use in their day-to-day -day life and I've gotten a lot of good suggestions from those kind of things and I just thought you know what I want to show you some of the things that I have bought on Amazon that make my life a little bit easier um, I'm also kind of calling this like Amazon faves and fails from a regular person a regular mom because I feel like some of the time when I watch those faves and fails they're, when will I ever use that type of product? How will I apply that to my everyday life? Like they just, sometimes they just don't apply to me. And I really try and avoid those kind of channels anyways, because as always, those kind of channels, there is a time and place. There are people that have beautiful, pristine white homes and everything has a place and everything is organized and they have the acrylic everything my life is not like that <laughs> we're a little messy around here we live in this house and you can tell when you come into my house um but i do like to have it cleaned and you know the organization that works for us and these few little things i have my list right here in front of me that's why i keep looking over to the side are things that i have found and come across in my I wonder if there is something for this on Amazon type of thing that I have found and purchased and use every day in my life. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items that are faves that I highly recommend. I'm gonna have links for all of those down in the description box. And I have four things that are fails. And one of them, it's like three and a half things that are fails because I still am somewhat undecided and I should probably wait till I test it longer but also it's probably still a fail no matter what. So anyways, let's dive right into these. Um, right up front, I wanna be very transparent. The links that are in the description box are affiliate links. So if you do click on and buy from it, I will receive a small commission, very small commission, um, from anything that you do purchase. But that doesn't deter me from telling you that I love these things. Like if you don't wanna support my channel in that way, I totally understand. But search it, search these items or click on my link and then get back to them a different way if, if that's not something you're interested in. So no pressure whatsoever. I just wanna be upfront and clear that those are affiliate links. Literally any of you guys can be an Amazon affiliate. If you have an Instagram or Facebook, you can be an Amazon affiliate too. If you want to promote any kind of item on your page and you provide a link, they'll provide you a link to do this exact same thing, okay? So just, just trying to be very transparent about that. Um, Again, I the reason I'm making this video is because I like watching these kind of videos. Same reason I do grocery hauls is because I like watching grocery hauls. Same reason I do vlogs, I like watching vlogs. Um, so the reason I'm doing Amazon Faves and Fells is because these are my Faves and Fells. I like watching them. And again, just to reiterate, I feel like these are kind of more everyday person types of products. So anyway, if I haven't beat that dead horse, long enough let's get right into it sorry if that offends anybody. <laughs> okay first thing I want to talk about um, I'm not gonna have these items in my hands because I'm not gonna bring them all what I did is I went and filmed like short little video clips where they are and how I use them in my house so I will insert those here that's actually why I'm kind of sitting off centered so that when I edit I can put that little video I filmed them up and down man look at me being so prepared and doing a forethinking thinking video um, so those clips will be right here. Um, I have like two things I think sitting here in front of me that I'm actually gonna tangibly show you. Everything else is gonna be via video clip. So this first item is a three canister acrylic set. I had my husband build a little shelf and put it up there and I wanted a little bit cleaner look. And so I looked on Amazon, found these, absolutely love them. They're small-ish and the picture on Amazon looks like there's three different sizes. They're not, they are all three the same size. So don't let that fool you. Um, but they are a very good size. Um, they're about this big, you saw. Uh, and so one of them I put my washing powder in, so my borax. The other one I put laundry pods in. Now we don't use laundry pods. Um, I bought those when we went on vacation 
last summer, I think. There was a washer and dryer in our Airbnb. And so I bought those because they're easier to transport. And I've used them like two or three times since we've been home when I've run out of detergent. So um, don't use them, but they look really cute sitting there, don't they? Um, and then the third one I use in my kitchen underneath my kitchen counter for my dishwasher pots. So it looks really nice. It's easier. The bag would always get like something would crumple it or fall on it. And I never could tell when we were almost out. And then, oh, we're out of dishwasher pods. So now they're sitting in that other canister. You can see how many we have. I know when I need to reorder at the grocery store. Same with like the washing powder and stuff. I can see the levels instead of just being in the cardboard box. So anyway, 10 out of 10 recommend those. They are fantastic. Get them. <laughs> they're so, so, so good. Okay. And then you will have seen I use the scoops. So that actually came. Oh, 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 I'm telling you prices. Um, the canister set was $20.49. Um, and I also want to say, not all of these things I bought recently. So this isn't like my August faves and fails or anything like that. Um, these are just lifetime that I've bought on Amazon just to be upfront with that as well. You know, if you guys really like this kind of video, maybe I will share more. And the next point to this is most of this is all like household use. I do have two clothing items on here just to throw in for fun because they're like, I just bought them. So they're fresh in my mind. Uh, but if you enjoy this, I will do it more often, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So canister stat was 2049. And then the scoops actually come in a four pack, but I only use the one in my laundry room. So I have the three other ones to use if and when I ever need them. I have not needed them yet, um, but they're a great size. Um, and those are $6.99 for the four pack. So those are just really cute. They look cute with the acrylic canisters. Um, and so I wanted to make sure and throw that one in there because it, I use it with it, you know, so it's really cute. Okay, and then the next thing is, um, same in my laundry room, is the um, tidy cups. So you stick them on the end of your laundry dispenser, your laundry soap dispenser, and it catches the drip. So my like old, like when I first got married and for the first 10 to 12 years of marriage, um, my washing machine was like, turn it on and it fills it right there. So I would always rinse my cup out. Well, we in the last couple of years have bought a new laundry set and the water doesn't come out until the lid is closed and the lid is locked and all that jazz. And so my cup was always just a mess and it would make me crazy because it's slimy. It would like leave a ring on my shelf where I would leave it. And actually that was before I even had that shelf. That was one of the reasons I did all of this at the same time, um, that I wanted Scotty to build that shelf is so I could use that little tidy cup thing. Um, and it was just so frustrating that I could not rinse that cup out and it made such a mess. And so again, turn to Amazon. Um, I think I put like laundry detergent cup holder or something. And this is what I found and I absolutely love it. Now, when I was going to get this link, there are cheaper ones, but this is a link to the one that I purchased. And so those are $13.49 and you do get two. So if you had like laundry detergent and fabric softener or whatever, um, I just have a backup now. So now I have a backup if one gets broken or whatever. They are just plastic after all. Highly recommend. It has like taken a little bit of the stress off of that messy detergent cup that has driven me crazy since we bought our new washing machine. Love my new washing machine. Hate that factor that I can't rinse my cup out. Makes me crazy. Okay, next thing, um, more laundry stuff. So these are some rod iron um, hooks that fold in. So my laundry room is pretty small. It's like five by eight, no, five by 10, I do believe. Um, so it's pretty small and I don't have a ton of room in there. And so when I would do laundry and everything, I didn't have much place to hang my laundry and it was just like making me crazy. Um, we also use a handheld steamer. We don't use an iron or have to get out ironing board and all that. We use a handheld steamer. And so um, this is so perfect. I love it. I can fold it out and like hang my laundry on it when I take it out of the dryer. Um, I can hang shirts on it to steam whenever we're using our steamer. These are just so nice. I love them so much and they just fold flat against the wall. They're out of the way and they're so, so useful and they're nice. They look nice and everything. So those were $21.98. So a little more expensive. Um, again, this was kind of a whole redo my laundry room a little bit, get me some more organization and better 
use of my space um, during that time frame in our life. So that's why there's so many laundry things. Now I have two like personal use items and then I will, I have like one, this is the creme de la creme, like the best item. And then I'll get on to the fails. So anyways, the next thing is, this is my phone case. I'm using my phone to record, but this is an off brand pop socket. Guys, if you use pop sockets, pop sockets are like 10 bucks a piece, right? Redonkulous, like so silly. I've had a pop socket brand before. These are just as good. And so this is the one that I have right now. Um, this is actually the second set that I have bought. They, they come in a six pack. I actually bought my first set for Riley as like a stocking stuffer for one year. And she did, she doesn't like a pop socket. She doesn't like the bulk on the back of her phone. When I film and my phone's huge, um, it is just so much easier to have a pop socket. And actually this was like, serendipitous I guess the reason I had to buy some more is because my aunt is um, disabled she had a stroke a long time ago I don't even know and so of course she can only use her left hand well she um, gets like the government phone because she's disabled and she needs that assistance and so um, the phone the new phone they sent her y'all I promise you her old phone I'm looking for something it was so tiny no problem I mean okay probably like the size of this, you know, Cincy thing. No problem for her to use one handed with her little thumb and everything. They sent her a phone as big as my phone. Y'all, there's no case or anything on it. And so it was slippery and she couldn't hold it. And so I popped the pop socket off of my case and stuck it on there. And it was kind of a game changer for her. And my mom was like, well, do you, do you like that? Do you want me to take it off? And she was like, uh, uh you ain't taking this, you know? So she really loved it. I love a pop socket. I think they're great. Long story long, per use for me. Um, these are so much cheaper, $9.90 for a six pack. And the quality is so, so, so good. Um, they are out of stock on this particular one, but there are so many different options. Um, like these have like black and white. So there's some that are black and some that are white. Um, but then there's, I mean, y'all, it's infinite. I have bought these for my youth group and like cut them apart into just like little singular. I think maybe I put them in little Ziploc baggies. Um, but they had like planets on them, nature ones, animals. The, the possibilities are endless, guys. And they are quality, so good. Whoops, did not mean to throw it. Highly recommend if you like a pop socket. For the price, you get six for the same price or less than the same price of an actual pop socket. And I know a lot of crafty people that like redo these anyways. So if you don't like this, put a piece of vinyl on it or something. Worth it, okay? All right, next thing is pens. So I will put a shot of what the whole pack looks like, but this is my favorite ink pen ever, you guys. It's the Pilot, oh, Pilot Precise. V5. Um, I've used these for years and years and years. I used to work at a, a printing firm and we sold like architectural supplies and stuff like that. And so this is the first place I bought these and absolutely love them. Walmart sells them too. Um, Amazon just had these last year when I went back to school or started my new job at the school in this cute little pattern and I thought they were precious. And so like I have my whole pin bag right here. Um, but this pack had several different colors. I think they were $11.98, which is cheaper than the ones that are at Walmart. And they have just a ton of different colors. I, I got a piece of paper here so that I could show you. Like, I like a thin, small pen. Like, not a big, bold, fat pen. So, I also have these with me. These are what everybody loves. The flare, the, like, pilot flare. No, 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 pi not pilot. Paper mate flare. They're like a marker. It's like a felt tip pen. They're fine. It's whatever. I know to each their own, but if you like a nice, thin, pretty, super smooth, like ink pen, I love these. It's just so nice. And like I said, I, I write big anyway, so if I have a big fat pen and I write big, it's just too much for me, y'all. It's like, it's too much. Sometimes I'm too much for my own self, okay? Those of you that stick around for a while and have subscribed a while, I love you. You get me, right? You get me, I'm a little crazy. Um, okay, so that is my ink pen recommendation. 
10 out of 10. Love those ink pens. Like I said, tried to go the flare out that everybody loves. I bought those at Dollar General, not on Amazon. Um, I didn't get the hype. Sorry. Sorry. Um, and then the gel pens. It actually came with two gel pens. Oh, there's one in here. I think they're called like Ink Joy. There is no joy in these for me. There is none. They skip. They're terrible. Here, I'll just, same color. So I'll just kind of compare. Look, even the little heart I drew skipped. Not a fan. These never have failed me. I love them so much. Okay. Um, Y'all, I could go on for way too long about ink pens and paper. I am a stationary lover. I have so many packs of pens and paper right here in front of me. It's embarrassing almost. Um, okay, moving on. So, should I leave this for last? My number one fave item. No, I'm just going to do it now. It is called a Bissell Crossweight. Now, this was totally, I was influenced by a YouTuber. Kim Wadsworth bought this and she totally sold me on it. Like, she has a very large, beautiful home, but she is an everyday person. Like, it is not the pristine home like some YouTubers, you know. She, so that's why I love her so much. She's real life. She is definitely an inspiration to me. So, anyways. Um, this thing works. Let me tell you. And I will tell you. I got mine way cheaper than it is. So, I don't remember if it was a big sale, like a deal of the day or something like that. Lightning deal. I don't know paid $240 for mine. Now y'all, these are $299 right now. And that's a markdown from $369. I know that's like a huge bite to take. And I looked them up at Walmart. Walmart has them for $269 right now. So I know that's a lot. I'm not saying go out and get it if you're not in the market for a new vacuum, but this thing is incredible. I typically will vacuum instead of sweep anyways because we have dog hair and it just sucks it all up instead of pushing it around and like making it go into the air. So that number one, it's a vacuum. Number two, it is a shampooer, but it's also a mop. So you can go from your hard floor to your rug to your carpet all on the same tank and you put like the carpet cleaner solution in it and it's incredible. So the my footage was terrible trying to film this because I'm trying to hold my phone and vacuum and it's like dark at night and so terrible footage. It's really hard to like explain but I was trying to show you like the after where it was like still a few little wet spots and how nice it made the floor look and everything. So anyways so highly recommend this. It is such a time saver. You don't have to sweep and then mop and then vacuum and shampoo your carpets. It is so easy to clean that you can do it every single day. I don't do it every single day just because I'm that kind of person um, that I don't sweep a mop and vacuum every single day. Um, but you could because it's super easy to clean and take apart and y'all, it cleans. You will have seen the dirty reservoir from just that spot in my living room. Um, but highly, highly can't talk enough about this Bissell Crosswave. It is so good, you guys. So worth it. You're going to love it if you are interested in, in upgrading your Sweet Mop vacuum game. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? You like our hair? Yes. Very nice. You're not in the video. Yeah. Do you have fun? Yeah. yeah. Good. All right, my family just scared the fire out of me because they were out riding four wheelers and just got home. I didn't even know, I didn't even hear them pull up. Um, and they just busted in and scared me half to death. Um, I scare real easily. If you ever see me in person, you could probably scare me. No problem. Uh, okay, what else? What, why do I pick the pin up? Because I'm like flustered now because I just got scared half to death. Okay, last thing on my phase list. Guys, I'm not a small girl. Like, I'm like five, seven and a half, five, eight. So I'm not like a shorter person. I've got some bulk to me. Um, but <laughs> I have this pair of um, like spandex biker shorts or whatever that I had been wearing earlier this summer. And like we had been working outside, we were in the woods and I just really loved how they looked on me. I bought them at Walmart. They're like a Avia or whatever that brand is called. 
loved them. Went to Walmart, could not find them anymore. I, of course, turned to Amazon. I'm like, I want some biker shorts. We're getting ready for church camp. I wanted something that was really comfortable. I'm going to just, I'm going to do it. Big girl and all, I'm going to get some skin tight shorts to wear because they're so much more comfortable. If my thighs don't rub together. My shorts don't ride up in between. You know, like it's just so much more comfortable and wearing a little bit baggier shirt just made it a lot more comfortable. So I found these on Amazon. It's a three pack of black biker shorts with pockets. Um, I really thought they were going to be a lot more spandexy, like suck you in and make you feel a little more self-conscious, you know, or a little less self-conscious, a little more self-confident. Um, they weren't really that. They don't suck me in very much and they're like a buttery soft, like that, you know, whatever they call that, like legging material. But y'all, they're fine. Like they are somewhat flattering on me. I don't hate them on me. Um, and they are ridiculously comfortable. I wore them every day at camp. I got three pairs. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, washed them halfway through the week and then wore them Thursday and Friday. Like so comfortable. I did not get too hot in them. Um, you know how lighter colored shorts when you sweat, you can see like lines, none of that. Um, so super comfortable pockets were great. I do wish they were a little bit more spandexy, but it wasn't the end of the world for me in the end. Um, and again, I feel like they looked somewhat flattering on me. I did not hate how they looked on me. And when I wore, uh, you know, a more baggier shirt or something, I definitely did not mind at all how they looked on me. Um, so if you're in the market for some bike shorts, super highly recommend. All right, let's switch over to our fails because the first fail I bought at the same time as those shorts. So these shirts were, so on the model, of course, she's stick thin and it looks super cute on her and they looked somewhat baggy. So first of all, they were not baggy at all. They were skin tight. They were like a workout top that was just like skin tight. So with my tight shorts, no, not tight shirt too. They were looking for baggy and flowy. Um, and so, and then secondly, it had this weird little like tag on the back that it does show that in the description, but I somehow missed that. So anyways, I half contemplated keeping it in case I lose weight and I'm like, no, because these were 22 36 and I failed to mention the bike shorts were 1999 for the three pack. So for 22 36, I'm like, no, I'm not keeping these until I lose weight. I'm returning these. I will find something else that I like more. I have plenty of flowy tank tops. I had five enough to get me through the week of camp. Um, and that was what I was originally purchasing these for anyways. So returned those because they were definitely a fail. They were not flattering, did not look good on me. Sent those right on back. So, okay, the next three items are more household things. So got the personal stuff out of the way. On to the next three fails, all household items. Two of them are laundry. Both of them are in an effort to get rid of pet hair. So we have three dogs and one cat in the house. And so pet hair is a nightmare for us. It is very difficult to deal with. <laughs> so it is inevitably on our clothes all the time because they sit in our laps. They sit on the furniture They're, we are pet owners and we love them. So long story long, I bought these little mesh bags with like a little floaty thing on top to go in the washing machine. And it's supposed to collect all this hair. And you see the commercials that it just collects everything. It collects nothing, nothing, very minimal amounts of lint. Now I missed the return window on these because I just kept trying to give these stinking things the benefit of the doubt. These were $15.99. <sighs> I really wish I would have just returned them. Like I tried, there's pink and blue. So I tried the pink one for a while. It never did any better. I tried it when I washed the dog's stuff. It didn't even do it then. That was the kicker for me because I was like, okay, you don't, you do not work. So those are a big O fail. Did not have success with those. Don't try them. Sorry. Um, and then the next one was the paw zapper. No, no, no. What's it called? The fur zapper. Y'all. Mm -mm. This is my like up in the air. Maybe, you know, maybe half fail, half. Okay. Here's the thing. You're supposed to use them in the washer and the dryer. You can't use fabric softener, which I don't anyways, but you also can't use a dryer sheet. I use a dryer sheet. I've been trying to not use a dryer sheet. I open that dryer and like, you can just hear the static crinkling. 
is it worth it to me? And there's like one dog hair on the little zapper thingy. So they're like, they almost feel like a sticky hand or something. Um, they're supposed to collect all the dog hair in Lent. And so far, no good. So since I've stopped using, because I, I was using them at first with a dryer sheet. And then I read the packaging again. I'm like, am I doing something wrong? Am I not supposed to wash it and dry it? Like, what's going on? It says don't use dryer sheets. So tried it again. It somewhat picked up hair, a tiny bit of lint, but y'all, I, I just don't know. Maybe I need to like wash them. Mm, this is an epiphany here. Because I used them with dryer sheets, maybe I need to like wash them off. But they've been through the washing machine and then into the dryer. I don't know. So I'm gonna still count this as a fail. Don't spend your money. These were $14 on Amazon right now, but I paid $16.99. So if you want to try it, you're going to pay less than I did. Again, past the window because I've been trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. These are a more recent purchase, but so far they're a fail. Last fail. Our house has been built in three different phases. Three, four, four different phases. So the original house was 300 square foot. Scotty lived here by himself. When we got married, we added on 340 square foot, something like that, to a 660 square foot home. And then when Riley was born, we added on again another 340 square foot, so 980 square foot home. And then we decided we were gonna add on one more time and then we were gonna be good for a while and then we found out we were pregnant with Aiden and so we actually needed to add another bedroom anyways. So that's the four phases of our home. That last addition, we did like heat and air and all that kind of stuff. Of course we had, we were trying to go as cheap as possible. We're young and poor. And so we had probably an amateur framer, concrete person, and even like heat and air installation person set all of that up. There is not enough air power to the front portion of our house. And that living room, of course, where we host guests and have parties, is always hot. Always. It does not get cool in that part of the house. So, Scotty looked on Amazon and found like these vent covers that you can put in, in place of your vent and it has a fan in it and it's supposed to like help suck the air out you know through the vents and give it more power and make it cooler in there it did not first of all second of all it was very loud and third of all this thing was $69.99 now had it worked like it said it was going to work I would I would have been more than okay spending $70 actually times two because there's two vents in that room $140 um, instead of having to upgrade our unit or whatever. So it was worth it at the time. Then we got it and it was not worth it. It did not work. It was supposed to, it was loud. And I'm like, we can get our $20 box fan back out and have the same noise level. And it would push the air a lot better into the living room. And guess what? It kind of has. Although since we got rid of it and moved the box fan in, it's been cooler days. We got the rain and stuff. So anyways, I did return that because I could not justify the $69.99 for the, it not doing the job that it said it was going to do. So that's it, guys. That's my last fail. That's my list of my faves and fails. If you like this kind of video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Leave me comments below. Have you tried any of these products? Do you have solutions for me for dog hair and lint? <sighs> and laundry because I will try other things and I will try them faster and return them faster so I can get my money back if they don't work. Um, but if you are interested in any of these products, if you want any more details on any of these products, just holler or leave me a comment down below. I would be happy to talk with you more about them. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, there are links to all of these products down in the description box. Again, they are our affiliate links. If you want to support my channel, if you purchase any of those, I will get a small commission. Again, no pressure, don't feel like you have to or anything like that, but if you don't want to support me in that way, just find another way to find that product because especially the faves, you will not be disappointed. These are all amazing products that I absolutely love having in my life. They make my life easier and they bring joy in even the smallest ways with my little pilot pen um, and you know my biker shorts. I could go on. I could go on and on. My crossway. 
Um, okay, anyways, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all. I appreciate you. If you have not yet, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.